Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with your WWE Top Stories for the day, January 4th, 2015. Following three major developments as it concerns Daniel Bryan, WrestleMania, creative plans changing, as well as updates on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. WWE will finally be announcing more Royal Rumble entrants on Monday's Raw. Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns are the only superstars confirmed so far. And I've been bringing to you all the latest updates, developments, news, rumors, and headlines and gossip as it concerns the Royal Rumble, the potential winners, and the potential outcomes, and what the road to WrestleMania is ultimately shaping up to be. Now, major update coming out of NXT. WWE NXT officials, and this is according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. This is according to all the dirt sheets, all the newsletters, all the websites that you can find online right now. Link source proof will be in the description of this video. WWE NXT officials are looking at doing a lengthy singles feud between Kevin Owens and NXT champion Sami Zayn, depending on how long they can keep the title going. The, excuse me, depending on how long they keep the title reign going. Zayn could be in NXT for another year. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow, was Kevin Owens going to be there for another two years? That's ridiculous. Maybe this would be maybe this was a bad decision for Kevin Owens. And Sami Zayn, he's already ready for the main roster. Are you kidding me? These two should be having a standout main event match at a, at a, at a pay-per-view or on Raw. Uh, noted earlier this week that there was talk within WWE that there may have been recent ch creative changes, creative changes to some of the WrestleMania 31 matches. There was at least some suggestions made about certain WrestleMania plans. With the news coming out, uh, that top WWE officials knew that Daniel Bryan would be back for the Royal Rumble. It's possible that those rumored changes were made because of Bryan's return. It's believed that Bryan being back in the storylines will lead to obvious creative changes. When there was so much uncertainty surrounding Bryan's status, he was not factored into future plans. And as as much as what two three months ago you've been read, I was reading that you know there was major fear in the WWE that Daniel Bryan was going to have to retire or that Daniel Bryan needed Tommy John surgery or that Daniel Bryan was going going to be uh, you know in the WWE but he wouldn't be as a wrestler and now things have turned around for Daniel Bryan and that's a good thing but I am I'm still a little it's, I think it's still questionable about Daniel Bryan coming back I mean. I don't know. I mean, he's been gone for a while. I mean, it's been many, many months, and we've been anticipating his return for a very long time now. But the bottom line is, at the end of the day, I know there's a lot of people that want to see Daniel Bryan win. Quite frankly, I know there's a lot of people that want to see Randy Orton win the Royal Rumble. But you know what? I don't think we're going to get Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the WWE World Championship if Seth Rollins cashes in before then. And you would have to assume Seth Rollins will either cash in before WrestleMania or on the night of WrestleMania as that has been something that has been rumored. Now as it concerns Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they're going to have extraordinary matches. These two guys know each other so well. These two guys know each other in and out of the ring. And I know they're going to give superb matches, but I'm not in favor of Sami Zayn. Uh... You know, having to be in NXT for another year. Are you kidding me? What are they going to do with Kevin Owens? How much? How much time is Kevin Owens going to spend there? I think Kevin Owens went under, went to t went to NXT with the uh, feeling that he'd only have to be there probably for a year, maybe a few months. I mean, that's a hell of a thing if Kevin Owens has to stay in NXT that long as well. I mean, it's completely ridiculous. They're both they're both ready for the main roster. Your comments, your opinions on WWE's top stories. Subscribe.